columnist Miranda Devine, claims that Hunter Biden wields significant yet underestimated influence within the White House. She suggests that Hunter essentially controls his father, Joe Biden, effectively acting as a shadow commander-in-chief. Devine paints Hunter as a cunning, intelligent, and manipulative figure, posing a formidable challenge to Democratic lawmakers who dare to oppose Joe Biden. Uh, Miranda, it's great to see you. And you've tackled so many stories about all of the censorship coming out of the mainstream media. I'm going to get to that in a moment. But first, we've been talking about so many extraordinary things in this program this morning. How do you see things? What's most important to you this morning? Hi, Maria. I think people haven't quite given the significance to Hunter Biden's presence in the White House that it deserves. Um, if he is in control of his father, as it appears he is, uh, he is effectively the commander in chief by proxy. And that's a very frightening thing for the country. Um, Hunter Biden is devious, intelligent, manipulative. Uh, he's always out for his own ends. Um, he really has no scruples and no fear. And so anybody from the Democratic Party who's going to try and dislodge Joe Biden this week um, has got a very worthy adversary there. I think it will be very difficult for them to tackle Hunter Biden, uh, especially if they underestimate him and don't realize uh, really the kind of control and manipulation he has had for a long time over his father, but particularly now that his father is ailing and will be depending on him very much. The integrity and independence of a political leader are paramount. The suspicion that Hunter Biden might be manipulating or controlling Joe Biden is deeply troubling. This aligns with conservative concerns about corruption, cronyism, and undue influence at the highest levels of government. The integrity of the presidency is crucial, and the undue influence of a family member with a questionable past undermines trust and effective governance. Devine's remarks can be seen as further evidence that Joe Biden may be incompetent or unable to govern independently. This narrative dovetails with ongoing questions about Joe Biden's mental and physical health. The notion that Joe Biden, entangled in numerous controversies, could be under substantial control raises alarms about the current administration's vulnerability and potential compromise. Devine's portrayal of Hunter as shameless and manipulative bolsters conservative criticism of the Biden family's moral decay and lack of ethical standards. It underscores conservative values, emphasizing personal responsibility and ethical conduct in public office.